uh, sunset. And welcome back to another video, fellas. So today, um, this is going to be the intro to part five, which I didn't expect we were going to be doing, right? So from the beginning, I said I was going to try to get this done in four parts. Uh, I messed up. So what I did was put everything together. Didn't know you were supposed to use some sort of gasket maker on the thermostat. It's recommended. Um, so I had some leaking going on there. So had to button that up. Had to do a few other things. We got pretty much everything dialed. Uh, tomorrow, D is coming with the full tuner studio. So I just want to give you an intro, get you caught up. Um, sorry for the lack of updates. And uh, I probably am going to be following part four much quicker with this video, I hope, because uh, yeah, my bad on that delay there. So I still have to finish editing that and probably post it tonight. As you can see, it is raining, um, but I'm really trying to get this thing dialed in because from the beginning I said I was going to try to make it to the first event. I was a clown. Um, it is June 7th or 6th. Uh, it's a day. Um, still not running. Vibes is the 28th, so we have three weeks. Uh, and as you can see, it barely moves. It moves around on the, in the driveway on stock ECU, so we have to get it all tuned up tomorrow. Hopefully, once we put the tune on it, it's gonna be pretty much ready to go. I know we're still gonna be chasing a couple things. I still have to put the catch can on. I have the line nice and long, so I can just splice that in. Um, but I doubt we're gonna be doing enough pulls and testing that we're really gonna need that for tomorrow. So I gotta do an oil change in the morning, and I gotta do a couple other things, but um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video and like and subscribe because hopefully we're ripping. Also, I don't really, I don't know if I mentioned this on video. Um, five series looking spicy on some chrome. Uh, still got to fix that door, but as you can see, the chrome is more important. So it's looking good. Um, I got a couple other things to do. I'm still trying to get HM2s for this car because these are actually probably going to be for that car because as you know, the contours are for the silver car. And right now, all my wheels are on the wrong cars, in my mind, but pretty soon, hopefully we'll have them on the correct cars. I want these on the banana, I want HM2s or some sort of 19s on this, I want contours on this. I don't know what we're going to be doing with the phone dials. I tried to polish them, they're out of state, halfway-ish, a little, little chrome-ish, but definitely not done. Need a lot of work. Those are staying. Um, but yeah. Hopefully we're going to do up some wheels soon. I really want to put these on the banana because I feel like chrome would look sick. The offset would definitely be all right on the E36. It's a little wide, but I don't know. Hopefully we're doing knuckles soon. And we're back at it. So here we go. Today we are getting this thing all buttoned up. I got easy outs and everything. I got drill bits. We're getting that thing out of the radiator so that we can bleed the coolant system, do an oil change. Uh, D is coming shortly. We're gonna get this thing tuned. And as you can see, we got a happy little fella. Right, dude? Yeah, so, um, goal is to get this thing on the road today, hopefully driving. As you can see, no headlights is kind of a situation. I'm gonna have to run up to the shop and grab them from Brendan at some point. Um, I could steal, Oh, actually, I think I have one in the shed. Uh, I might have to do some digging later, but um, I don't remember if I sold those from the part out or not. So, gotta mess with this for a bit, and uh, yeah, hopefully it's ready to tune, and we're gonna get it ripping. What is going on, guys? So, it's already Sunday. Um, yesterday, me and Dee spent pretty much the whole day trying to get this tune figured out, and what's weird is it pretty much seems like everything is good except for the injectors don't seem to be getting proper power or potentially any power so um car will sputter on starting fluid but it won't run and then as soon as you swap to the stock ecu fires right up and it runs fine so um obviously it's super rich and i'm not trying to run the stock ecu especially for vibes when i'm just going to be ripping on it so I'm trying to get this tune figured out. I'm going to mess with the computer a bit more today. I have it booting up right now, and Brendan is coming shortly. Um, so I'm going to see what I can figure out. He's going to see what he can figure out, and hopefully uh, hopefully we get this thing running. So um, that is the goal, and the goal is to be driving it this week. But uh, I'll keep you updated if that happens, because right now we're not looking hopeful. It's already uh, 1 o'clock on Sunday, and the week is coming quick. So unless I uh, work from home and... 
um, work on the car as soon as work is over most of these days. I'm uh, getting pretty stressed about vibes, but hopefully we make it because I already paid for it and uh, it would be quite the experience and a whole lot of fun. So, um, yeah. All right, guys, so we are on day three or four. I think this is four of trying to get this ECU dialed in. And honestly, <laughs> it's blowing my mind. Um, so everything honestly in the tune should be good. What we're running into, as you can see, the battery voltage is just jumping like a kangaroo. And uh, for some reason, the coolant temp is stuck at 180, even though I swapped the coolant temp sensors. So I know that it's not the sensor, uh, unless I got two beds, well, first one was original second one was a replaced one on the spare motor so unless both are bad which I highly doubt it um, we've got something funky going on there I really got to figure this out and honestly I think the car should fire I'm waiting on a response from uh, the company and hopefully they give me some insight on what's going on because they specifically asked if the battery voltage was jumping all over the place when I reached out and said that I was having these issues. Um, my biggest mistake so far was, see here, it says 4A, or yeah, UA4C. So that's the board layout you have to keep it on. It's a little bit misleading because if you click in here, if you scroll down a little bit, or, oh shit. I meant to say, if you scroll up a little bit, wow, my mouse is touchy. Scroll up a little bit, it says BMW P and P. And in my mind, I don't know if in your mind, I think BMW plug and play. I plugged the ECU into a BMW, it's a plug and play. Um, it's not the case. You want to keep it on the UA4C. They confirmed that if you turn it on the BMW plug and play, it's going to reset your pins all over the place. Uh, half of the ECU was trying to read off of pin eight, so as soon as I touched my throttle, it was doing half of the gauges uh, pretty much going off of the throttle pedal. So my map, my engine speed, a whole bunch of random crap was going flying and uh, you don't want to do that. So, uh... all right, so another night, another night is not running. So yeah, I really don't know what's good with the CCU. Still having that battery voltage jump issue. Uh, I tried restarting from scratch and copying the tune over. Still the same battery issue. Um, I really don't get it. It's getting injector pulse, it's getting spark, it's getting engine RPM, it's getting literally everything except for that voltage is jumping and something is causing it not to fire. Um, the company told me to check the voltage and report back to them, so I did. And I'm wondering if there's potentially like some sort of issue with the ECU because I find it funky that the first thing to mention was check the voltage on it. So now we got to go through the process of figuring out what's wrong. So um, doing a whole bunch of testing. Hopefully they get back to me. If not tonight, then tomorrow. We'll keep grinding on this. Uh, I am working from home again tomorrow, so I will have some time to work on this thing. Um, yeah, and I don't know. I really got to get this finished before vibes. If I don't, I'm going to be salty because I've already missed half the year of drifting. Low key to be, or regretting even turboing this thing. But once it runs, hopefully I stay different. But as of right now, this has been kicking my ass and it's pretty annoying because I just want to drive. It looks so good. I even got the catch can in. I have to get a little uh, air filter to put there and then probably rotate that out of the way. One of those little uh, PCV breather doodads, sell them at AutoZone. Gonna grab one of those. And uh, I'm gonna go eat some dinner because this thing's a piece. Today is the 19th. We're leaving the 27th, so we have eight days. Uh, as you can see, there's no ECU in the car right now. Um, so 
we're like a month behind schedule um and at this point it's kind of all down to the ecu so it runs on stock ecu it runs on d's ecu uh car's pretty much ready to rip i drove around town um feels really good i didn't really take many videos of it because i was driving um i should have put the gopro on my head so that i could get some good good videos of the spoolie noises but it's stock ecu it's set to literally the lowest the wastegate can be um i have it on like the last threads and it's making like 0.4 bar so that's i don't know six or seven pounds probably um not much and i also wasn't raging it because freshly put together i was pretty much just testing to make sure that nothing was leaking and we didn't really have any uh big issues and we didn't so that's ideal um, yeah pretty much just correcting little mistakes here and getting it going but we should have the speedwino ecu back uh hopefully by the weekend i'm getting stressed out about it but um the ecu was jumping voltage all over couldn't get a proper reading on voltage which was making all the other values go crazy when you started to crank the car the dwell times all the injector pulse times and ignition and all the timing was messed up so um pretty much narrowed it down to an ecu problem d was over and we tested the harness checked out every pin was good to go uh i do have to reconnect one of my gauge wires because uh don't want to lose wire over there but um and my gauge won't work obviously but um yeah it's pretty much down to getting the ecu ready to go i'm, I'm getting pretty nervous got to put new stickers on i don't know if i'm gonna even have time to paint or like repaint it what i'm thinking about doing is just scuffing up the bottom real quick and paint matching the bottom yellow and we'll worry about a full refresh soon but i'm worried that if i do that then the rest of the car is going to look grimy so um I don't know still undecided on that but if i do decide to do that i'll probably sand it and wash it today and then tape it off and then do it throughout the week and weekend um because i don't think the ecu is going to be back till at least friday or saturday um which gives me a little bit of time to mess with this but while i'm messing with or well, while i'm worrying about this i also have to worry about the tow rig because uh this is going to be the first like big trip with it um i know carl's taken plenty so i'm not super worried oh and i also unwrapped it looks nice doesn't it comment if you like it um yeah so it matches the silver car looks good i still gotta clean up the hood a little bit there's some some wrap residue but i'm probably gonna do an oil change i gotta pop the front axles out do the axle seals uh and that's pretty much it um everything else on this car has been super solid i'm dealing with a little exhaust leak which every once in a while it throws an o2 sensor code but um i've been meaning to fix that for a while now and i just haven't because now that i work hybrid i don't even drive it that much because i don't have to go to work every day so um that's ideal we're making progress on everything and i'll catch up in a few uh when we figure out what we're doing today because i don't even know it's a holiday and yeah it's random wednesday during the week well, so I didn't really do many updates today because I got real busy um, and spent the entire day, as you can see by the bumper behind me, the rest of the car is now yellow. Um, so this has been kind of, well, actually not really a long time coming. So I was planning on doing blue. You might have heard me mention, I think I did two videos ago maybe um that i was planning on doing blue so that's what the plan was and then randomly we decided that um i'm gonna stay yellow tony's staying yellow undecided on who else is going to be going yellow and staying blue but we're pretty much doing uh yellow and blue it seems like so kind of stoked on that i like the uh the yellow color so um match the bottom looks real nice did the front the bumper looks fire i wish i kind of did this right off the rip um yeah it looks really good with how the intercooler tucks back there i was kind of nervous you're going to be able to tell that it's a teeny bit off centered but not at all um so yeah this thing's coming along got to get my headlights back in well i got to tape off the windows and i'm gonna do a quick respray i'm gonna try to peel the chiquita sticker off as you can see i already started to do a little bit of a respray so i kind of like had it come up the doors a bit 
um, was trying to match it, blend it, whatever they call it. Uh, but now I got to tape the windows off and I'm just going to do the whole rest of the car. Uh, cause it seems like every time I wash this car, I pretty much paint it. So, um, yeah, let's keep it, keep it going with that. And, uh, after this, I probably won't wash it for another year. Actually, no, I, I won't say that. Hopefully now I, uh, keep up with the washing it and it doesn't get back to being nasty because, um, painting it once a year is kind of a pain. And we're back. So as you can see, the five series is warming up. The banana is now full banana. Um, and today what we're doing is actually running to Harbor Freight, grabbing a little tent or something. Um, last time I did it with a tarp hung on the trees. It wasn't the worst, but uh, I did get a whole bunch of schmutz in the paint. So what I'm gonna do today is pull this up the driveway, give it a quick power wash again because now it's full of leaves and sap and all that crap again. So pull it up the driveway, give it another quick wet sand, get the paint like perfect. Um, give it another quick wash, let it dry, and then we're gonna spray it with another quick couple coats of yellow. Gonna do the whole car. I'm gonna pop the front bumper off because I literally just did that and it looks perfect. So gonna do that. Um, that tire is not having the time of its life. So uh, yeah, I just gotta finish spraying the car. I might pop the mirror caps off, get those yellow too. That's the goal at least. Um, we're definitely running out of time. We have five or six days till we leave. It is currently Saturday. Um, and I'm waiting for the ECU still. So, uh, common theme with this, the ECU is the main holdup and it's been a pain in the ass. So, um, if you're looking at ECUs, I would look further than the $500 budget range because so far not been a fantastic experience. Hey, it's a chip one. Um, get away from my car. Oh, it's coming right at me. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get this all dialed in. Uh, hopefully the ECU comes today or tomorrow. I... I don't know, I don't have the most faith in it because tracking says it's not gonna be here till Tuesday and we leave Thursday, which it's making me stressed. Um, I'm literally gonna have one day for shakedown and Vibes is a three day event of nonstop driving. So I'm gonna have a maximum of like 40 miles on this car before I take it there. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty nervous because it's gonna be a freshly turboed build getting shaken down at a drift competition so um stay tuned should be interesting should be fun um e34 at least sounds good i'm still debating on putting a different exhaust on it because it is a smidge loud but um i don't know it's not the worst so we'll see what happens and uh i'll keep you updated Alrighty, throughout the day. so side quest was successful we got a new tarp drop cloth whole bunch of paint um yeah time to time to get this bad boy prepped so what the plan is is pull it up in the driveway give it a quick wash spill all the paint on the ground um, and give it a quick wet sand so that everything just kind of meshes nice I'm gonna take the bumper off um, since I got the drop cloth I'll be able to tarp off like the intercooler and everything make it make it nice and pretty um, the wheels Obviously, it's not staying on these wheels. Um, these are going to turn into rears. I bought tires for them. They're going to be here, I think, today. Uh, and I don't know if you saw the top can in that bag, but that is the color that they're going to be. So stay tuned because I think we're going to hopefully get to that either today or tomorrow. It'll definitely be in this video. Um, I know this isn't really part of the turbo build, but uh, I'm just keeping you up to date with what's happening because now we're just in crunch time to get the vibes and make the car look good. So... Um, ECU waiting on and mechanically I think the car is pretty good um, I got to put the headlights in obviously but we're not doing that till after paint I got to take taillights out mirrors off uh, bumper off and I'm probably gonna end up peeling the Chiquita sticker off so that I can just make everything nice and pretty in one go maybe I'll see if I can get a replacement for vibes if not we're just gonna be the yellow E36 but either way we're still the banana car so um, hopefully Tony makes it so there's two bananas but it's not sounding super hopeful but Fingers crossed. So, um, so as you know, we are grinding to try to make it to vibes, right? Car is pretty much dialed in. Um, bolt checked the entire car. Everything's good. Uh, did a fresh oil change. Did a uh, fresh V-band because one of my exhaust V-bands, um, I actually had a 2.5 in there and I have a 2.25 exhaust system. So, as you can imagine, wasn't the best fit. Um, when it was fully socked down, it was like almost tight, but it wasn't tight enough to, there was still a little exhaust leak. It didn't sound right. So, 
Um, we put a new V-band in, we have everything pretty much ready to go, everything's tightened up, uh, topped off fluids, and we're literally just waiting on the ECU. So, common theme of the story. Um, the ECU is what's still holding us up. Uh, he didn't put on overnight shipping as he originally said. It's like three day shipping. Um, so, might see it tomorrow, most likely won't see it till Tuesday, which sucks because that means we're gonna have one day to shake the car down. Um, and I am nervous, to say the least. Um, at least everything else went pretty smoothly today, so we're, we're making progress. Um, I didn't get to the GX oil change because, as they usually say, uh, when, when you make assumptions, it makes an ass out of you and me. Um, I assume that the new oil filter came with a crush washer. Did not. And the only spare crush washers I have sitting around are M14 or 16, whatever size that is. And I believe this is an M12 by giving it the old uh, look test. So, um, yeah, I, don't, I can't even get the camera up to look at it. But, um, you get my point. Uh, it's not the right size crush washer, so we're not going to put it in there when we have literally a seven hour drive and brand new oil because that would be a terrible idea. Um, so what I'll probably end up doing is getting a fresh crush washer tomorrow at work, doing the oil change to after work tomorrow, and we're back. So, um, this is pretty much turning into just drift vibes prep. Um, banana's pretty much ready to go. Still waiting on ECU, but as soon as we get it, it should be ready to pretty much plug in and go. Now we're doing tow rig prep. It's Monday, we're leaving on Thursday morning, so we're really getting down to the last second. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much oil change on this. Check over a few things, check over the exhaust because I am randomly getting O2 codes. Um, not that it's gonna really affect it in towing, but uh, it's gonna chew through a little bit more gas if it's burning rich, but um, it's really not the end of the world. So I'm uh, gonna try to tighten up the exhaust because I think it's literally just at the H pipe where it meets up with the cats. It's getting a little leak um, and reading lean. So it's shooting more gas into it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so I will catch up with you probably tomorrow um, because you don't really need to see a GX 470 oil change. Um, we'll get that running, get a headlight in. Probably only gonna rock one headlight for the event because only really need one. Um, it's gonna be on track only. And yeah, um, Silver Car is coming soon, so stay tuned. And uh, Black Car is up, guys. Good morning. And uh, we have a quick mid video interruption. Got the Euro Drive shirt, fire. Um, so I completely forgot to mention any of this during the video because, um, as you can tell, things got kind of last minute. But this is after vibes, this is after cars running good. Um, but ECU, this is a RM Electronics, yada yada. It's a Speedwino board running Mega Squirt ripoff software. Um, a ton of people have asked me what I'm doing for ECU and would I recommend what I'm doing for ECU? No. Um, honestly, this has been a nightmare. Uh, the ECU alone set the car back two months. Um, the car should have been running dialed way before vibes. So, uh, that was a nightmare in itself. I've heard good things about KData. I can't back it up because I don't have any firsthand experience with it. Um, this was a nightmare, but shout out to Dairy Swap. Um, I'll put his Instagram in the bio. He is a dude from Germany that tapped in, remote tuned it, and um, I ended up opening up the ECU board, uh, flipping a jumper switch, flashing the board, um, rewrote the software so it's not even running the RM Electronics software anymore. Now it's just straight like mega squirt stuff um, and don't have to worry about all the crap that was going on with it because uh turns out that it was all software so um even the voltage jump the tuner guy said that he had the exact same thing happening in another ecu they did the whole software thing and everything was fine so uh we burned about a week sending it back and forth because the guy put slow labels on it um and honestly it just added a whole ton of time to this project i sh i i missed events um i don't know at this point i wish that i went with a different ecu but now that it's running we're gonna stick with it and uh the first signs that it shows of any failures we're getting rid of it because um that was a pain in the butt 
and yeah uh if if you haven't already bought one i would recommend probably looking elsewhere um so that is the deal here um but yeah dairy swap uh lobotomy tuning whatever uh his actual tag is dairy swap but the the name on his instagram is lobotomy tuning um and then my buddy brendan mcginnis um on i'll put his tag in the bio as well um he's on team late notice but he is the one who street tuned the car uh we didn't take that many videos of it because as you can tell my stress level was times 3000 um but yeah he did a quick street tune and honestly for how like quick we got it tuned up and ready to go we spent like probably two hours driving around um pulling in like the ve tables and all the different random stuff and it ran good um we had to do spark plug gap a little bit close them up uh, i think it's running like a 0.26 now and yeah this thing's shredded so um let's get back to the video good morning fellas and welcome to the vibe so as you can see the car is loaded on the trailer gx is prepped got everything pretty much sorted and uh yeah pretty much closing the garage doors and heading out to lake erie speedway to and well we're meeting up with the fellas actually in town so ideal meetup spot for me and uh let's go let's go fellas so we got the whole squad out here we got the three car sheesh the chromies <laughs> we didn't let him pull up on stock view you know way yeah we got seven hours ahead of us yeah, and then fire. we'll be at vibes but my car looks like junk compared to the rest of the boys but hey at least we're here deep in bumblefuck um i have no idea where we are we're at the quickles oh, i can't zoom on this but we got the whole gas station pretty much taken up with the uh tow rigs and whatnot gx telling like a beast u-haul's doing pretty good only thing i hate about these things is when you're going on a downhill the surge brake goes wild because it's going off of the the front of the tongue so once it gets weight pushing against it it's you know but yeah good holding up good and uh yeah once carl gets filled up and uh we're ready to go we're, we're not too far from the final destination of lake erie speedway so let's get it let's go we are rolling out in the cornfields question mark looks like corn but yeah we're uh rolling deep got all the cars here pretty much no problem carl's been having issues a little bit uh he pretty much got run off the road by an 18 wheeler so he popped a tire maybe bend the trailer hub he said he's taking it slow so we're leading the back and uh should be at the airbnb soon fellas big victory tonight we got the m42 100 dialed in we've been doing well maybe not 100 but we're gonna say 100 um we were doing street pulls for probably a good half hour maybe more um car had no issues and it's ready to rip and we're already here at vibes so Let's get it. Getting some bacon, some eggs going. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. Yeah. Shout out Janko with the bacon and fucking egg duty. Hell yeah. Oh, look who it is. Who is that? Hey, nice video. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I saw the eyes on the No way. All right, so the tune on the way turned out fantastic. So. This thing shreds. Um, we do have a little bit of spark breakup, but we think that's because of where I have the coil packs just kind of sitting right now. Um, they are supposed to be grounded, so I'm gonna try to figure out where to mount those, and we're gonna probably be all set. So everyone's unloading. I street drove it, had Rob drive the GX. Brennan did a little street tune, and we're pretty much good to go. So gotta unload. Uh, I think we're dropping trucks and trailers and stuff so that we can then bring the trucks and stuff back to the house. Um, and yeah, it's almost time to start drifting.
break up. Yeah, it feels good. First and foremost, make sure you respect the venue. That is important. We're here because they allow us to be here. We do dumb shit, we can't come back. So, pretty common sense. All right, so this is honestly unreal. I thought this car was gonna last like five, 10 laps, be done. We've already cooked off a set of tires and she's chugging. Um, me and Tim just put down some sick laps. He was on my doors. And yeah, this just feels like a cheat code. Um, does not feel like a, a four cylinder E36. This thing hauls ass and it is a blast to drive. So um, I'm gonna hand off the camera to one of my passengers for the next two laps and uh, enjoy the turbo noises because this thing is. second because we've been pretty much hot lapping it which didn't really expect um almost through a whole set of tires and, uh, yeah gonna let it cool off for a sec we'll get a few more laps and that might be it for tonight just because it's starting to rain but um i'll get to the next passenger
the way he may be positive. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. It is really good. Oh, and now they're not running their shit anymore. He's not like the, uh, they're sending like, all yeah, for, what is that game? Yeah, that was the company. Government. This thing's wild. The whole team's pretty sick. Some Connecticut locals out here. Got Orion and a few of the other lads. Fire. How much did you say it was? How Like 70 Did you get the deal? Oh, no, no, no. Vibes, do be vibe. Oh, we out here. Vibes 2024. Janko's ripping. Hell yeah. Alright, well, phone's dead. This is going to be an Instagram story. But the cars are looking too good. To not get a little, a little clip. The S13. Yeah, that was a great day of driving. I'm stoked for hopefully tomorrow we get some dry laps. But solid day. Let's go. This thing's put in more. Good old 3UZ. Oh, we got DJ whipping though, Jay Z. some RC drifters. Drifting at Vibes, back at the peak and peak. Um, so yeah, we took the GX back. Tim and Doug took the drift cars, but expecting some rain in the morning, so I didn't really feel like driving with an open intake to the exposed elements back to the track, so I took the GX. Um, but yeah, that was a wild day. What a vibe. Not the ideal drifting day. We'll see how many laps we get, but it doesn't look promising. Yeah, like I said, rainy day. We're gonna actually run back to the house for a few. <laughs>
I got two minutes of footage left, so let's go over Vibes Weekend real quick. Uh, Banana has held up like a fucking champ, um, which is wild because we got it running on Thursday night in Pennsylvania, and we've driven literally all weekend, probably cranked out over 100, 150 laps. The sea time is unreal here. Um, the cars are definitely feeling it. Everyone's cars are feeling pretty tired. Uh, unfortunately, last night, on um, literally our last run, Doug had a little accident, so I um, got some work to do, but yeah, sorry guys, you can tell my voice is shot, but yeah, the S13 got a little tweaked, but we'll get her back out there ripping. She's too good to, too good to let go, so sure we're not going to let it go to waste. Um, but yeah, we're going to go crank some real quick laps before we head out, and then Everyone's already hitched up, loaded up. Pretty much already have everything packed. Uh, hopefully, everything's chill, and we get on the road with you. This guy, he was killing it all weekend. Hey, yeah, it's it's been a good weekend. Um, I feel like my driving has definitely progressed a lot. I got three bumper taps. I got a few videos of it, so um, that was fucking sick. Bumper taps, like, 
just a little kiss on the wall three different times um this bumper smoked though i will have to get a new one loki the car did not love it um oh, that looks like you got a little bent that's kind of shifted um yeah loki the last one was pretty pretty hard <laughs> but, I have 50 seconds of SD card space left, so we'll be quick with this. And my voice is shot from yelling like a madman. I'm going to insert clips for sure. Um, but Vibes was insane. Um, by far the sickest driving we've ever done together. We were running seven deep many times. Um, I don't know where the three car trailer just went. Did they pull over? Um, hang on. I might have to give him a call, but this is going to be the end of the video. Turbo M42, fucking sick. If you want to build one, um, parts list is coming soon, and I will try to be helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments, but SD card is dead, so peace. With the bros and the shit And we roll hit the cars And it goes like I don't wanna be lonely tonight Don't wanna be lonely tonight Don't wanna be lonely So I spend some time with my homies I don't wanna be lonely tonight Don't wanna be lonely tonight Don't wanna be lonely So I go and spend some time with my motherfucking homies